Hi guys, Cosmo here. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. We just barely did the fire in the cavern last episode, so I'm just picking up right where we left off. Now that you have GF, you can get this draw point. It's just cure, so go ahead and get to it. So we're going to be doing the final exam in this one. I'm not going to be doing that triple triad card thing that I talked about last episode. We're just going to be... I'm going to be saving all that for right at the very end of the game. But I do have my handy dandy notebook here. And we're going to be using it to go through the Dalit exam with us once I can get back to my dormitory. What? What just happens? Oh, and the guy disappears. Isn't that creepy? Here we go. I just, I just missed the pixel. Don't need to do that save. I've literally just saved. I think... Aha! So yeah, you can go to the thing, hit dormitory, and it teleports you. I love it. So we, we don't have to walk all the way around to get to our room. So this black fur collar cloak is Squall's you know, basic one. So now he's going to get into his school uniform, which is the same thing everyone else wears. But blue. And I actually really like this. I love this silver lining on the shoulders, the cuffs, like all of it. It looks real good. Come on. If you don't go to the right pixel, it just it doesn't let you through. It just sucks. And there's Quistus waiting for you. And she's in her teacher uniform and not her battle uniform. Zell ditched. Yeah, lively is one way of putting it. He's just loud. <laughs> I'm afraid this is not possible. Yeah, yeah, you're stuck with these guys. So here's Mike Tyson. And I mean that quite literally. He's got the Mike Tyson tattoo on his face. Bam, there it is. So he's male Tifa in this game. He's the punch man. He's very obnoxious. I love it. And then Squall's like, no, I'm not shaking your fucking hand. So yeah, his weapon's called Metal Knuckle. He's just got metal gauntlets. But what I love is his ultimate is a freaking like arcade combo. So you have to punch, like circle, then X to punch rush. And his ultimates are just Tifa's ultimate, so it's like Dolphin Kick, My Final Heaven. They're the same names. They've just been ripped. If you do it automatically, it sucks because you need to know how to get to the ult is the whole point. So if you have his auto on, then you can't get to the ult, which sucks. Pretty whoopty pretty bad this morning. We are training. Yeah, of course he doesn't think so. All you have to do is ignore him. Yeah, that's really hard when he has a sword in my face. Excuse me, but... Cypher is the leader of this expedition. <laughs> I love how excited Zell gets all the time. And he's around here somewhere. There he is, with his squad. His own squad. But... Yep, the whole disciplinary committee. Instructor! I hate it when people wish me luck. What an asshole. Oh! Save those students for a bad student. I love this right here. Like, alright. Good luck, Cypher. No one likes Cypher. At all. No one likes Cypher. Add instructor treat to the list. The list? You're all assigned to squad B. I'll be instructor in charge. Teamwork's of the importance. Let's get through the exam. Teamwork means staying the fuck out of my way. Teamwork means letting me do everything for you. It's a squad B rule. 
Look at that. Look, Zell's just ready to fight him. Like, I never understood that. <laughs> he always wants to fight Cypher, just right in the middle of the hallway. Here's Sid. He's got a receding hairline and a pot belly. And I love this battle music, too. It's like the debrief music. I love it. He's examined where bond 12 members from squads A through D. He proceeding to a real battlefield. Yeah, that's right. So fighting the god Ifrit was just getting you prepared for a battlefield. <laughs> so this isn't a school. This is mercenary boot camp where they raise children to fight real people and murder them. God, and what's about to happen is such a good tone setter for this game. I love it so much. You'll become any of my nine seed members. So we're taking exams to become seeds who are full-blown mercenaries. So they're just there as backup. If we die, then they do the job for us. The elite mercenary force seed. Yep. So yeah, we're basically just being like, hey, you've raised us since children. Now we're ready to go murder people. It's, it's so crazy to me. So yeah, you can just leave now. And here's the parking garage. See, I told you it was going to come up sooner or later. Look at that weirdly shaped car, though. I kind of love it, but also really hate it. But at the same time, like, it's so modern. Like, I love the cars, you know? Like, I mean, I know Final Fantasy VII had the bike, but I don't... I don't remember a car being in it. Also, for some reason, it's like a uh, police box from Doctor Who. It's bigger. It looks like it's much bigger on the inside. Show me your gun blade, will ya? Yeah, here, let me just whip out my gun and point it at your face. Just peek. I kind of imagine he, like, flashes his jacket right there. Like, just to... Why well, he being so selfish? This is why I love and hate Zell, because he just can't hand. He just. He just has to be an asshole. <laughs> He's so obnoxious. Nothing. And of course, Quizzes laughs, because she knows. So then Zell gets bored and does the only thing that makes sense to him! Squall's pissing him off. He hates Cypher, so he's just gonna pretend to punch him. Right in front of their faces. What an asshole. Chicken was. Basically just called him a little bitch. And look at that reaction. Just. Boys. <laughs> is all I have to say about that. Quisis is like, ah, oh, fuck. I got three 17-year-old boys. Which is hilarious, because she's 19. Control gods to maintain human control, Michael. What on earth are you talking about? There's a girl in the infirmary. Yeah, she's she's very important. Is going to come back later. No, not really. We have a chicken wuss and a guy who just reached puberty. And then Zell's just keep, like flipping him off, almost. So now he can't to drive the goddamn car. Help me. This is this sucks so bad. I hate this. It's like I'd rather just walk. But yeah, you just you just go right on into town. There's a gas station. There's some more stuff. Houses on the right, shop on the left. If you keep going left, there's a train station, and here's the harbor. I love these boats. I actually really like these boat designs. Yep, that's the vessel. Ain't no turn back now. You scared toe? <laughs> of course I'm scared, it's a battlefield. Don't disappoint me. And Quist is like, move! So yeah, you're stuck in it, so we can't unfortunately explore the town now. Or can we? Oh, we can. We can just straight up... Well, I, I think we can leave. Aha, we can leave. Oh no. So here's the inn right here. Um, just like every other town, you know, you can just sleep here. Sorry, my headphone came up. Give me one sec. So you can go in here, sleep, rest up, save... All that nonsense. 
drop point here, as you guys saw it coming in. Good old Thunder. This guy. Yeah, it's just kind of crazy. This right here is very important. This is the shop. This is how you upgrade people's um, weapons. So Squall has his base revolver. Zealous's base metal knuckle. Quistus has her base chain whip. It'll increase the strength on it that it gives and also the hit chance usually. Um, can't really do anything now because we don't have any ingredients. Taming GFs to go fight human population. That's awesome. Shop to buy items from. We don't have any money really. We have, I think, what, 5,000 gil? Yeah. So you can buy a couple things. They're not really necessary. Also, I wonder why they put ammo this early on in the game. That's kind of interesting. This lady who's all dressed up, she's the queen of cards. She is the single hardest person to challenge to a card game in the game. And she's a whole side quest on her own. So don't fight her unless you want to lose a card. Because she will kick your ass and write her name on it. <laughs> and then you got your train station. It'll take us to other parts of the world. So that's basically it for the town. Um, Zell's parents actually live here. I think it's in this building. Yeah, this is Zell's mom right here. You can get Zell's card off her right here, too. She hates to play it, but you can do it. And then her house, there's a hidden draw point, I think, over here. Again, you have to have the ability to do it. Talking to people reduces the score. I haven't even started the exam yet, so I don't think I'm getting scored right now, Michael. Either way, I mean, yeah, I know you I know you beat her, but still. Um, either way, we can just take tests to increase the score and bump it up to an A. So yeah, here comes my favorite part of the entire flipping game. I love this tone setter so goddamn much. It's amazing. So that's Zoo. She's very high up in the garden. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Look at Cypher, doesn't even stand up for it. Oh, I just love these exams. I'll explain the current situation and the mission. The client for this mission is a Dalit Dukedom Parliament. The request for seat was made 18 hours ago. Dalit's been under attack by the G Army since about three days ago. 49 hours into the battle, Dalit abandoned their position in the inner city. They have retreated to the nearby mountains and are reorganizing troops. That's where they're at, now on the objective. According to reports, the G Army is mopping up the Dalit troops in the mountains. We're going to make a landing at the beach, Lapid Beach. We're to eliminate the remaining G Army within the city and liberate it. Afterwards, seed members will intercept G Army forces trying to make their way into the city from the mountain region. So we're going to just push into the city and then repel any Galbadian forces from the city. Well, that makes sense, Michael. He was saying that the exam starts as soon as you get dressed, but I mean, I only talk to a handful of people, so we're fine. Seed candidates are to eliminate the army inside the city. Sounds boring. God, Cypher. So what you're saying is we do all the dirty work. It hardly needs to be said, but the order to withdraw takes priority, don't forget. So that basically means when they tell you to leave, you gotta leave. If you stay there and keep fighting, you won't pass the exam. Yeah, so the second you land, be prepared to fight people. Any questions? Talk to Quistus. Um, so, yeah, basically, if you do nothing, then you're good to go. So I'm going to take this time to explain what we're going to be doing. So the ranking chart. Um, so the Dalit mission events determines your conduct score is what it's called. The points are determined by how much time remains on the clock when you reach the beach during the evacuation. So with this one, is you, the, when, when they tell us to withdraw, 
once we get back to the ship, the more points, the more points we have on the timer, the better. So if we have more than 25 minutes, we'll get a full score. If we have three minutes or less, we'll get no points. Um, then there's attack. The number of enemies your party defeated during the Dalit mission event determines um, Dalit mission event determines your attack score. This number does not include enemies defeated by GF. Even if an enemy's health reaches zero more than once during a battle, like one of the bosses we're going to encounter, only the first time will count. And then Spirit, um, it is possible to fight this boss more than once. He's going to chase after you a lot. Um, after the initial escape from him, you'll run for two screens. When you reach a screen with the downward slope, press triangle to walk, body blah, blah, let's keep from being stunned, avoid a second battle. So essentially this like spot, um, mechanical spider is gonna be chasing after us the less times we get into a fight with him the better if we only get into the one fight we'll get full points so here we go attitudes so multiple things um, include this so it says the number of people you talk to during the field exam there's a one point deduction per conversation oh here we go yeah you're right michael my book even says it this includes talking to people in balan if you talk to bigs you lose two points um, you're not required to initiate conversation at any time. The only exception occurs when you're with Cypher in Dalton's Town Square. Essentially, we have to talk to him for like, for, we get to our destination, and then we have to talk to him to keep the game going. So a one point deduction is taken each time you attempt to go toward the communication tower before Cypher commands you to do so. Each time you jump off a cliff, um, you lose 10 points if you fail to save the dog while passing through the town square. Uh, speak with the dog to help it escape. And then if you run into the cafe to escape from the spider monster, you lose 20 points. And then another crazy thing, if you, you receive a 100 point bonus if you destroy the spider monster. Um, depending on your level, it has anywhere from 5500 to 6500 health. It's only possible to destroy it on the bridge. So you can destroy it, the only problem with that is it um, repairs itself mid-fight, which makes it really difficult. So you can talk to him, they don't really say anything. Um, but again, I think it's all just deduct points if you talk to him anyway. So here we go. This is going to be kind of long, so strap in. I think it's going to be at least 45 minutes to an hour, hour and a half. So, saying okay just gets it going. And we're going to get a cutscene soon, I'm going to love it. Because it's my order. Fuck off, Captain. So this is what made me fall in love with this game. This is called The Landing. I could watch that all day. God, I love it. So, secure Central Square. Be sure to equip your GF, obviously. So yeah, Cypher, you always want to let him go first. So we're just going to junction real quick just to help make him strong. So I always give Zell Shiva. He doesn't have any magic, obviously. And then we're going to give some... Well... Yeah, we'll give Cypher a Quetzalcoatl for now. And then another fun thing you can do is you can actually come down here to Magic to Quistus. And then if you notice, you can exchange Magic Quistus. So you can just give Zell all her magic. Just 
just to make it at least a little bit stronger. I use Zell more than Quistis, so for me it's okay. So we're gonna auto just to attack for now. We'll be fine. And then screw Cypher. The only reason I even have Cypher on right now is to level the GFs. Speaking of which, let me do that. So this isn't... Well, it might be time. So card, vitality, strength. Okay, yeah, we're good. It might be time. So you don't want to talk to anybody. There's the save point. You want to hit that, just in case. What? No, no, I don't want to exit. God, no. Kill me. So now you want to start rotating out. If you don't get a good score, revert to that save, and then you can go. You can just redo it. If you don't like the score you got. So remember, you want to kill these guys not with GF. You want to auto-attack them. So, Cypher also has a gun blade, but if you notice, he holds it differently. I'm, I'm gonna go over, like, I, I'm gonna have a whole episode on Cypher. It's gonna be great. Because Cypher is actually the most interesting character in the game, believe it or not. Yeah, you got a Phoenix down. That's good. Oh, if you notice, uh, the girl that you helped do the garden tour with is here. So here's the street of Dalit, fancy car on the road, another fancy car, poor guys. I remember playing a demo of this as a kid, and you actually had a lot more GFs at this point than the actual game. You had a uh, Leviathan and like Pandemonus so of the Water Dragon and the uh, Error Monster God thing. I can't quite describe Pandemonus. He looks like he looks like a set of bagpipes that have been colored. It's kind of funny. Then I'm actually gonna heal up real quick. I'm just gonna use items just because. They cheat. Zell's good. Fuck Cypher. I always say fuck Cypher, because, like, yeah, he's an ass, but he's the most interesting character. It's kind of it's kind of strange. Alright, look at that car. That looks like a real car. So, Nautilus on the right, um, if you ever come back to Dalit, you can go into that store and upgrade your weapons. And if you notice, there's gun blades in the window, too. What idiot. <laughs> yeah, Panamona is real interesting, Mike. Right? And here's the square. So the reason I equipped the GF to Cypher, the GF doesn't get any ability points after the fight unless it's equipped to someone during the fight. So in order to level them with these AP, you have to equip them to someone. So, I mean, I could equip them to Squall or Zell as well. Here's a cute little pupper. You can, you can pet fountain. So you want to go over here, there's a dude. Yep, so that's all of them. So the, the way to the left is towards the tower. So again, if we go up there right now, we're going to lose points. So we just got to talk to Cypher, who says wait. And then cute, cute little pupper. And he's just going to annoy the crap out of Cypher. He's brooding and...
Yeah, see that right there. That's why I hate. I've always hated Cyber. Is he threatens this dog with his sword? Because <laughs> he just he just wants to fight people so bad. <laughs> and there's a communications tower way up on the mountainside in the background. So if we go towards it now, again, we'll lose points. So we just talk to Cipher. Maybe pet the pupper. Can't pet the pupper. Oh well. There we go. Some kind of dog training. Is that how Cipher... I wonder if that's how Cipher feels about the test. Like, to him, like, he's the dog in the test, it's just them just keeping him on a leash. So the dog barked good and summoned all the troops. Because, like, every troop is like, huh? There's a dog around here somewhere, right? Because, like, look at how many people that dog just... Crazy. It's the enemy. No way! Yeah, see the tower. Duh. Our next destination. It's only expressly against orders, but no big deal. Well, yeah, we're bored, but being bored during a war zone is actually a good thing. I stand by Captain's decision. That's a weird thing to say. It really is. You want to wreak some havoc, too? Thanks, yeah, I think I can take on anyone. Ooh. Don't thank me when the time comes. The hell? I thought you guys didn't get along. Now you're best friends. Yeah, that's how boys are. Zell, grow a pair. This ain't no ordinary battle. It's an exam. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's like it's not just a battle, guys. It's a test. It's a final exam of college. You gotta keep... <laughs> I love how a final exam of college may means more to him. <laughs> Than an actual war zone. <laughs> Look at that. Cypher calls him a boy scout and Zell loses his mind. God. Those two. Enemies headed for the facility. We squad be here to secure the summit. Get going. Poppy. <laughs> so one of the things to do on the way back is to save the doggo from the metal spider. So that's what we gonna be doing. So this is the bridge it was talking oh god. This is the bridge it was talking about. So you can blow them up on this bridge if you do a crap ton of damage. Because it's a machine he's weak to thunder, so if you want to blow him up, hit him a lot with what's on and your regular thunder magic. It's really hard though, so I would advise to not do that. But you can if you want. All these guys count, so the more of these you kill, you know, the better your score will be. You don't need to kill too many. Well, let me grab a book, actually. I'm not sure the exact number of enemies. Oh, so if you defeat 75 or more enemies, you get 100 points. 25 to 74 is 80 points. And then 15 to 24, 50, 10 to 14, 20, 0 to 9, 0 points. So you can not grind right here to hit 75 if you're keeping count. Um, but it is going to be quite the quite the run, so. Right? I can't imagine killing 75 either, Michael. 75, like, especially when they come one at a time like this. I think we've already killed... We see two, four, eight, five, and then I'm gonna six, seven, eight, nine. I think it killed ten already, maybe. I wonder. I, I wonder if the bosses count. I'm not sure. So yeah, if you want to, you can just grind this bridge out. And get that, get that number up. Uh, once you hit twenty-five, though, you, honestly, you should be good. You, the the last ten points, you really don't. 
you don't need to get the A rank, like, to start with. You can get, like, to level 30 and then just increase it with the tests. I'm gonna upload, um, I'm gonna take a picture and upload all the test answers anyway, so you can just take all the tests, get up to 30, and then, bam, you get your trophy. Like I said, the only two trophies that should give us even a little bit of difficulty is going to be the Poo Poo side quest because it's luck based, and Omega weapon because it's flipping Omega weapon. Man. It's, he's literally ten times harder than Ultima weapon. Ultima weapon has a million health, Omega weapon has ten million health. Um, so you could do magic up 20, it doesn't really matter. Card mod's handy, just not right now, it's more of an end game thing. So that takes, once you turn uh, like an item into a, a monster into a card, you can refine that card and get certain items. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do health. That's going to be the next big thing. One of the trophies is get max health, so we're going to do that. Shiva's still working on vitality. Ifrit's still working on strength. Still good on health. I'm going to grind a little bit more on this bridge. It's going to be kind of boring. Sorry about that, but... I want to get at least something. Especially because some of the enemies are only one at a time. Which blows. Oh, you know what? This actually isn't a good, a very good grinding spot. There's a better one. Levels in this game don't really matter. The reason being is that the entire game scales with you. So whatever your max character in your active party is, um, the entire game's gonna be that level. So if Cypher's level 10, the entire game right now is level 10. Every single monster, every single boss, everything's gonna be level 10. Which means that, you know, their stats are gonna change accordingly. So if you have Squall's level 50, Zell's level 12. That means Zell's level 12 fighting level 50 monsters. It's kind of crazy. So that's why you want to kind of keep everyone kind of the same level, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. Um, only for certain boss fights. So again, don't talk to these guys. You'll just lose points on the exam. This guy you have to talk to, so don't worry about that. Who are you? Don't worry, we're C candidates. We're not we're not actual C's. We're just here to take the test. <laughs> Galbadian soldiers have entered the communication tower. So Galbadia is the other country that's currently invading Dala. That's what the G army is. On top of that, that place has always been nesting like monsters. If you guys going up ahead, B. Hell. I always thought this was a mini boss. Oh, Fire Caverns is level 5? That makes sense. So, this is an Anacondor? Yeah, so the finishing blow determines the experience. So, what that means is whoever kills the thing gets, like, a larger chunk of experience from it. So, just Fire and Cure off. It's actually. Um, this thing is an anaconda, it's a viper. One of Zell's gloves, actually all of Zell's gloves to level him up require dragon skin. You can get it off of these things. So if you kill these things enough, you'll get dragon skin. And then you can level Zell's weapons. Up. He does have a bit of health. Though. I always thought this guy was like a mini boss coming. Again, this is another place to just stock up on cures because it's, he has cure, you can just stop, draw, and cast him. So, really, this fight can last forever. Also, another thing I've noticed the longer the fight goes on, the more experience you get. Yeah, look at that. I hit him a bunch of times. Very strong monster. Ooh, he just hit him with poison. Oh, he's not poison. There's no size. Yes, including Cypher as much as I hate him. Okay. 
So one of the things I wanted to kind of mention to you guys, um, so Cypher is Squall's perfect foil. So if you guys don't know what a foil is in literature, it's basically the main characters, like, they're not really even the main characters, but any characters are opposite. So Squall, if you noticed, hurts, so Cypher hurts Squall in the tree. Squall return in kind, they both have a scar. If you overlay the scars, it makes an X. I don't know if that's important. Who cares? Um, now it's dead. So essentially, if you notice, Quist has got mad at Cypher for cutting in Squall, but laughed when Squall said that she hit, he hit Cypher back. So like, everyone in this game hates Cypher, but they put, ooh, I saw the junction, that's handy. But they put Squall up on this weird pedestal. That sucks. More fun for us. Fun police. So, get so. Yeah, he's got that vitality junction. So, boom. Shiva. Yeah, let's do that strength junction now. You want the junctions just because, you know, more stats the better. But anyways, yeah, so a lot throughout the game, people are going to be getting mad at Cypher for sh the same shit that they praise Squall for. So anyways, uh, no, well, we're in a fight, anyway. I'll talk about it later. But yeah, just like, I think that's why um, Cypher pounds at Daz when Quist is it's like, don't hurt your partner. And he's like, well, he hurt me too, bitch. Like, come on. So that's a geezer. Um, he drops metal screws that you need to level Squall's gun later revolver up to a cutting shear. Cutting trigger? Shear trigger? Something like that. He didn't drop any that time. So yeah, this pathway right here, so when we're running back from the metal spider, if you hold circle and walk, you can walk down the hill. Is what we're going to be doing in a bit. There we go. So we have two regular guys and like a captain. The big red guy in the back. Big red guy usually has good magic. Yeah, fire, thunder, blizzard, scare. What do the base have? I don't even know. Oh, same thing. Fire, thunder, blizzard, cure. So, the captain has a bit more health. So we're just gonna be targeting the smaller guys first. Don't there we go. Not bad. So going back to the whole foil thing in literature, um, the foil just means like the opposite of the main character. It doesn't mean like the protagonist and the villain kind of a thing, like the hero and the villain. It literally just means this character is opposite. So it's whereas Squall has brown hair, Cypher's blonde. Whereas Squall has blue eyes, Cypher has, it apparently looks like green. It's, you know, Squall wears black, Cypher wears white. Um, Squall, Squall has, um, Kind of a whitish gun blade because you know he has a revolver and silver. Cypher has a black gun blade. They look different. So like every and you know people love Squall, they hate Cypher. Um, one of the biggest examples of this is in Shakespeare's Hamlet. So Hamlet dresses in all black. He's really depressed because his parents died, his father died, blah blah. blah. Um, but there's some other dude. I think it's his cousin that the whole family just loves him in bits. They just they kept him around, they allowed him at the funeral, stuff like that. They sent Hamlet off to boarding school because he was being a uh, piece of crap and just came back for the funeral kind of things. It was a whole mess. And then I guess Zell's here for entertainment, maybe? <laughs> I'm not sh quite sure. He's just loud. There's always one in every class. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm better with Cypher's trigger than I am with Squall's trigger. That's weird. Oh, by the way, this is the only time you will ever fight with Cypher. You don't get to play him. Ooh, I can do uh, Cypher's ult here. I was just about to say, I wish I could do his ult. 
Yeah, No Mercy, where he does his fire attack and then follows it up. I also like the green on the star. It's real good. Oh! How the one on the right starts at, I don't know. So yeah, that's his ult. If you notice, he does a fire attack that he used on Squall in the beginning of the game. Is that again? Poisoned? No, thank God. Man, these guys got some health. Oh, there, now one's dead. Yeah, I'm always... Oh, there we go. So once your hero, your character, gets in the yellow, you have a higher chance of doing his ult. So that's what that arrow over means. So you hit right on the D-pad and do the ult. Squall, so Squall has the gun blade, so he hits a trigger every time. The Cypher apparently is just attack. Don't worry, I'm gonna be healing from here. I just, I want to show you guys their their ults, because they're so cool. Ah, what are you doing? I'm still just getting fire cross, no mercy. Yeah, at least it's doing good damage. And it, again, it's the only time you can do it. I think he does it later on in the game, like against you. You end up fighting him, of course. But yeah. Stone pieces, eight ability power, four an anacondor. Yeah, I got a lot. I got a. Oh, hey, eleven potions. I forget that you get potions off of just fighting people. So yeah, just go ahead and use them with impunity. I'm actually gonna sort real quick. There we go. Almost there. So here's the cliff. Don't jump off of it, or you'll lose points. In a second. He got the generator up and running. That's handy. And boosters. Whatever. The, is this a rocket ship? <laughs> Cable disconnection confirmed. Beginning exchange process. Whatever that means. Just throwing technical terms around. I don't think you guys know what this tower does. Who cares? This must be your first real battle. Are you scared? No idea. <laughs> ah, excuse me what your dream yeah so this is cypher's defining characteristic right here so he has a like a r literal romantic dream that he's trying to fulfill mind your business look at that he just like fake swats at him why is there such an ass guys swat and flies right you? And then he punches the ground, like breaks his hand, like God. And here she is, the girl that you bumped into and led around Balam, Balam, the school. And she's a klutz, dude. That would ruin your knees if you did that. So I don't like the weird curly cues her hair is doing. I like to imagine she has pigtails instead. That would make her much more cute. I think more cuter. Wink. <laughs> Michael, stop winking at the girl. Thanks, I don't get lost. Well, yeah, there's a sign that points in all the right directions. I'm a messenger named Selfie from Squad A. She really likes taking pictures. The squad captain Cypher, right? Where is he? Down there, charging head first, literal guns blazing gonna tell you about my romantic dream so yeah that's that's squall or that cypher in a nutshell he has a dream a literal romantic dream and he wants to do it so yeah you can follow selfie and just dive off but you'll lose points if you do it's really funny too oh, actually i'll show you real quick you're not you're gonna it's a cliff you're not gonna jump off and then yeah you just say no way LFSL's like, dude, that's a cliff. Like, be careful. Oh, I went the wrong way. So you want you go down at first, and then you go up. It's kind of confusing. 
You're gonna have to remember it though for the spider monster. Ah! Another fight. You guys think I'm at 70, er, not 75. You guys think I'm at 25? Because I lost count. Spall's hitting for 172, that's feeling good. So, remember when I said earlier that we'd never get to play a Cypher ever again, ever? It would have been much quicker if you just jumped. Yeah, please. You wouldn't jump. Who? <laughs> what normal person jumps off a cliff? Like, I don't know. Perhaps anyone but the chicken was can make it. Oh, even he's making fun of them. That's that's a low blow, sir. Mostly because they're shorter than you. Since you're so angry, I guess you're the chicken wuss. <laughs> I'm not a chicken. Well, if you don't like chicken, how about a pig? You look way more like a chicken. It's because the rooster thing on his forehead. I'm not going to lie. Call me what you want. I don't care anymore. Don't take it. I love how he pouts. He literally is pouting right now. God, what a child. Is anyone equipped GF? You haven't forgotten. So, Selfie is now part of our party. She is a permanent part of the team. And if you notice, he's, Cypher's gone. He's not even on here anymore. So, we're just going to go over to Selfie. Slap Quetzalcoatl on her. I usually slap Quetzalcoatl on her. You can do card if you want. Um start turning these soldiers into cards. The big red one's actually kind of medium. He's, he has okay stats. And then I can't do auto because she doesn't have any magic. And then let me double check the GFs, make sure they're good. Health, strength, strength up 20. Okay. So right in here, don't worry about it, it's not a boss fight. Well, going inside anyway isn't a boss fight. Yeah, this is the communication tower. It's got a big old radio dish on top of it just chasing them out like hi and then he just he doesn't even say hi he just goes back inside like he just left his own subordinates behind and he just fucked off so yeah, squad b captain went up so if you go up you'll get to the boss fight right here's blind that's going to be handy you're going to put that on squall so then we go to junction go to squall Go to magic. So it's a status ailment, so you could put it on his attack if you have the thing. Um, but we're actually going to be blinding the boss because he has some pretty devastating physical attacks. And then you're going to be whacking him. But right in here, you can grind Galvadian soldiers like there's no tomorrow. You can get lots of blue ones and the occasional red one. And of course, they have all the magic. So I'm definitely I'm going to actually end the episode right after I save, and then just grind the hell out of these, get all my magic up, get everyone's stats really good, get a couple of ability things, maybe get the strength of 20 off Ifrit, if we're lucky. They drop bullets. Um, and then yeah, so right here, you it has a really high um, drop rate for Galbadian soldiers. So Plus there's a save point, and they all have cure, so you can grind your butt off second you go up that ladder, I'm only going to do three saves. Well, no, I'll use the blocks. Um, second you go up the lift, the little elevator thingy, the, uh, you're going to get into the boss fight. So definitely grind your heart out. Make sure you hit at least... I'm not going to grind AP. I'm just going to actually... I'm going to get grind at least a little bit of AP, Michael. I want, I want the strength boost on Squall at the very least. Because the earlier you get that, the better. Because it's a strength plus one every time you level. That's kind of amazing. Uh, but yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and stop it right there. Next video is going to start with the boss fight. Um, probably finish that up. And then we'll do a bit more. Not sure what I'm going to do, but we'll figure it out when we get to it. Anyways, thank you YouTube for watching. And we hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll see you next time.